The majority of shots you miss will be caused by a problem I call seesawing, which begins when you're not sure what's going to happen and then gets progressively worse. But seesawing rarely affects anything straightforward and is only ever a problem on shots where you lack confidence. This happens when you get to the shot and you think the ball might be heading for the corner of the pocket, maybe even enough for it to miss. So you automatically try to correct this. But when the human brain does something like that, it's natural for it to overcompensate. And not only that, you feel yourself overcompensating. So you try to adjust it back, but you overcompensate again. And every time the seesaw moves, the swing gets bigger until you end up missing the shot by an unexplainable amount. However, even though you now know about seesawing, this won't help you because it happens subconsciously. So here's how you stop doing it. As I've said, this doesn't affect a player who's confident they're going to pop the ball. So there are three possibilities. The first reason you seesaw is it feels like you're going to miss the ball and you're right. The second reason you seesaw is it feels like you're going to miss the ball, but it might just go in the corner of the pocket. And the third reason you seesaw is you're actually going to pop the ball dead in the center, but it still feels wrong. The first way to deal with this is to decide where you're aiming before you get to the target. This works because when you get to the target, if you're still aiming for exactly the same place, then you're going to be a lot more confident and a lot less likely to move. So by picking where I'm aiming from this position, when I get to the target, if that looks exactly the same, I'm going to be a lot more confident and less likely to move. Now, the second thing that will help when you're down on the shot is just to take a second or two to make sure you're settled and you've got everything lined up in the right position. Just because you've selected the right angle before you get to the table doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be in the right place the instant you get there. It can take a couple of seconds just to make sure everything's lined up correctly, and this is the time to do it while you're still looking at where you're aiming on the object ball. So if you think of your approach to the table including a couple of seconds where you just make sure everything's lined up accurately, then you're a lot less likely to move later on in the shot. The third thing that will help once you've got everything lined up, because what players do next is look down at the cue ball and make sure they're striking it in the center, and then look back up at the object ball again. And often when this happens, they're not looking at the same place they lined up to initially. And if you try to correct this, so here we aim dead straight, all of a sudden you miss the shot altogether. This is because when you look up at the object ball, you're not necessarily looking where you're aiming. Think of this as more of a balance so you don't want to tip one way or the other. So just keep focusing on the same point because if you haven't moved at all, then you still have got everything lined up correctly and you'll end up potting the ball. Doesn't matter if you look at the cue ball or the object ball when you play the shot, stay focused on the same point and you'll move around a lot less. The fourth step is really simple and obvious. Keep your feet and any parts of your body that are going to be in contact with the table completely still. So that could be your bridge hand, your bridge arm, the side of your body, your leg. And this will prevent you moving as much and seesawing as far. Now of course this doesn't completely stop you moving, you can still sway from side to side. But trying to prevent this will probably make you tighten up too much. And that just simply won't make you play any better. You'll play a lot better anyway if you keep the rest of your body loose and relaxed. Just remember to keep the contact point still like my feet and my bridge arm here. After seeing the rest of the video I'm hoping the fifth step is going to be obvious. And it's if you feel yourself moving on. The shot slightly, don't try to correct it. Get back up again and then go to play the shot again. Because otherwise you're obviously going to be swinging one way or another and doing the seesawing thing I've been talking about in this entire video. So you're settled on the shot and then you just feel yourself moving a bit one way or the other. So get back up off the shot, give yourself the chance to reset and make sure you're giving it your best effort before the next step. And the sixth step is to realize that no matter how well you've lined the shot up, taken your time to get in the right position and stayed still for the and stayed still for the rest of the shot, it's still possible to subconsciously change your mind a little bit on it and end up missing the pot. And of course, this won't work straight away. It's probably going to be a month before 
you see the full benefits of this. But once you do, you'll find it a lot easier to select the right angle because you would have played a lot of shots in that time where you're no longer moving around and and you can see the shots a lot better. You see, if you move around a lot on the shot, even if you pot it, it can be difficult to see exactly what's happened. But if you stay completely still, you know what happens when things go right and when things go wrong, and you learn a lot faster. And that's the big advantage of the tips I've shared today. The more you implement them, the more consistently. Game, then have a look at the rocket method. Everything we've looked at will increase the probability. You potting the ball, but it won't guarantee it. And the seventh tip is to explain that. Just because this is a common reason for missing a shot, it's not the only one. You might not be lining up the shot accurately in the first place, or you might be putting unintentional side spin in on the cue ball. But if that's the case, we will post next video soon. And remember, don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website.